Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome again to another Moonshot. And recently I've had a few opportunities to speak and share messages on this aspect of the currently active VUCA environment in personal and business perspectives. And today's episode is titled Creating Personal Disruption. As the universe stretches and groans, our world continues to be demonstratively impacted by catalytic change as homes, businesses, communities, nations and cultures have been rent and threatened by diverse means through the COVID-19 pandemic. Even the not so curious have to ask why and there are almost as many responses as there is population. I'm of the strain who seek change for what can become of it. What lessons are contained in the message and how can one adapt efficiently because of it? And for me, I recognize our current global disruption as yet another grateful moment to explore and refresh our opportunity to learn and grow, to uplift those who struggle and to reevaluate personal priority. For the past three years in WBEX, the World Business Executive Coaching Summit, there's been an underlying swell on this topic of servant leadership, expanded from renowned business coach Ken Dianchard. And this is where senior executives assume the accountable responsibility for those who report to them in an inversion of the traditional corporate accountability model and given the scale and rapidity of change in our tech-driven ecologies, leaders who are truly wanting to build durable teams must assume a greater care for those they rely on to fulfill their objectives, especially with the distortions to normality that can escalate from even small things that are experienced in the lives of people on their boat within and without their organization their workers and their market. And it's also been said in economic comment that as this is a, a time for retaining business customers more than even looking for new ones, and as businesses must strive to understand the deeper feelings and situations that influence their market in order to stand out and strengthen connections, this will be necessary to sustaining continuity. And numerous of my previous Previous Moonshots episodes have reflected on topics like facing challenge and breaking boundaries, overcoming adversity, building resilience. And even back in February, I discussed lessons from nature a month before the WHO announcement on COVID. And as a change maker, these are all threads in the fabric of my work. The late Judith Glazer, who was a founder of the Global Institute of Coaching, was a, a psychology expert who observed mankind's innate addiction to being right, to the point even that we'll defend a position despite it being wrong because we don't like to appear weak. Yet, not accepting an opportunity to learn is akin to self-destruction since Change is often touted as the only constant that we have in life. Uh, Whitney Houston is a world authority on disruptive innovation and the evolution of consistent personal disruption through personal experience and challenge. And just as Bruce Lee referred to the ancient martial arts practice of emptying our cup to not stagnate and to enable learning and growth and new filling and advancement, Disruption is a factor to achieving. Now, whether we're caused to respond to it or we make effort to create it, you only recognize opportunities for you to push beyond your comfort zone when you're prepared to take active steps to unlearn and then relearn in order to disrupt yourself. Can I suggest you make the time to reprogram the internal conversations with strands of positive possibility, and let your mind steer you to accomplishing your personal progress, whether that's the requirements of a salubrious survival or the fulfillment of dynamic dreams. And as you do this, remember always to live fully 
love unconditionally and serve willingly.